I want to bring in California Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna, Deputy Whip for the Congressional Progressive Caucus. Always good to see you, Congressman. I want to start by playing some of what Senator Manchin said yesterday about the idea that these two infrastructure bills have to move together. How much of feel, though, you're not dealing in good faith? They felt that there was an art, uh, a deal made I know, before but me, I never knew about that. Never, never heard of so it. So you, you never, you never. never part of a deal that never the heard about together. that. About two of them are going to be together? Yeah. Why do you think we worked so hard to separate them? He said he never heard of that, and he said over and over yesterday he's been negotiating in good faith. Do you believe that? Chris, the president was very clear when the bipartisan deal happened that it had to be together with the entirety of his agenda. I do believe that Senator Manchin is negotiating in good faith. One of the things he suggested is let's repeal a lot of the Trump tax cuts. That is at least a start. Uh, we could also have a front loading of a lot of the benefits of the bill and reduce some of the years. So I actually think that Senator Manchin will get on board. The but bigger issue. Do you issue agree with your colleague? Millie Dryapol, who said she thinks that his statement, his very harshly worded statement, probably brought more votes over to the progressive side. I think more votes were coming to the progressive side anyway. It's been happening all week. And, you know, Senator Manchin had a harsh statement on voting rights and then a few weeks later came out with a voting rights agenda. So I am confident he will come on board. I think right now you're going to have far more than progressives vote against uh, an infrastructure bill. You have many moderates, I think, who may vote against it because there's just no clarity on the president's agenda. The bigger challenge, I think, as I've said, is Senator Sinema, where there's just no sense of what what she wants, and Senator Durbin repeated the same thing last night. Uh, if she were to come on board, tell us what she wants, I think Senator Manchin would come on board, and the president is trying. The one thing I will say is the president's outreach has been extraordinary. Steve Ricchetti, Ron Klain, I mean, they'll text you back in, in an hour. So this idea that they're not uh, corresponding or reaching out to the House is just uh, factually wrong. And if you vote against this infrastructure bill, or it doesn't come to a vote, uh, you're essentially telling the American people to trust you, that you can give this up because you can figure out a way to get something bitter, bigger and better down the road, whenever that might be. A after watching all this drama for the last several months, Congressman, why should the American people believe that? Chris, it's a fair question, but what the American people should know is you have a unified democratic agenda around what the president wanted, which is to give but Americans not child a care. unified democratic caucus, which is what it comes down to. The votes. Well, we have it. We have a unified Democratic caucus, and then we have one senator, Cinema, who's standing in the way of 99 percent. And Senator Manchin wants a deal which will come. But it's really important. I think people understand this. The House is unified. The Senate, 48 senators are unified. Senator Manchin always comes through. You literally have one senator that is standing in the way of people getting child care, people getting community college for free, environmental provisions of investing in renewable energy, seniors getting dental care, and I believe ultimately one senator. Senator is not going to stop the president of the United States and in the entire Democratic if Party. If the House is unified, Congressman, then why is there a chance that Nancy Pelosi will not bring this bill to a vote today because she'd be afraid she wouldn't have the votes? How can you call that unification or a unified well, because, caucus? Because they, she doesn't want to bring something for a vote that's not going to pass the Senate. Uh, we have to be unified not just in the House. We have to have unanimity in the Senate. And it's very clear that we don't have that unanimity in the Senate because of uh, a Senator Cinema. If she were to come today and say, look, here is what I am for, here is the number I'm for, what the House progressives have said is we're willing to negotiate. We, we started at $6 trillion. We went down to $3.5 Then we said it has to pass the Senate. Now we're not even saying that. We're saying give us a framework. We're saying we're willing to bring the number lower. We've, we've tried in every way. The president has tried. He's implored Senator Sinema, give us a number. And, you know, we keep coming on television or journalists. I guess my hope is she could just answer what, what is it she's opposed to? Is she opposed to all tax increases? Is she opposed to child care? Is she opposed to Medicare? And then we can have an honest conversation. With Senator Manchin, I know exactly where he stands. Congressman Rokana, good of you to take the time out today. Very busy day on the Hill. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.